I need to stop taking Uber shares, but they are seriously giving me the best stories right now. Last night I took an Uber share from a show. It's maybe like three in the morning, pretty late. And I was like, I want some company. Kidding, I was like, I'm a broke And sometimes when I do the Uber share, I like low key forget that I did that. And I'm just like, who the fuck is this drunk man in the car? And I'm like, oh, that is my companion. I jump in the car and this man is MC Hammer. Like he was wasted, wasted. I can already tell. Like he just had the best night of his life at Red Lion, you know? And I knew he was young. Like I can kind of tell. And I came in not MC Hammer. So I was just chilling. And he like turned to me and he was like, What do you go to school? And I was like, Oh my God. Like he just looked like a Big Ten school. Like he looked like he was about to say Rush Bama in my ear if I didn't tell him that I went to Syracuse, you know? Like I was like, oh, I don't go to school. He's like, wow. I didn't even ask him like, where were you tonight? But I was genuinely curious just because I didn't even know where do the kids go these days? Like 13 step? Like, I don't know. And I was kind of chatting with him for a bit. And then I was like, oh, like how old are you? And he's like 21. And I'm like, yeah, I can tell. This man is like blowing a cloud bar in the Uber's mouth. Kidding, I actually was doing that. So we chatted for a bit and then we stopped and thank God because it's like I can't do this. This man was like lisping at the mouth like everything he was saying was in cursive. He was like, how was your night in that light? I'm like, what? What did you just call my dad? But I was like, okay, let me go texting. Let me text on my phone to look like I'm very busy. And so that's what I was doing. And then he was like sloshed. He was like kind of head down. I don't know if he fell asleep. God knows I'm not looking at him and wasn't really caring for his well-being to be honest. <laughs> what a bad older lady. And then um we like stop and i swear to god i checked my uber and i was like oh we're not at mine so when we stopped it was just kind of like awkward for a second because i'm like you know about to nudge him and i'm like your ride's here you drunko you know and then i like turned to him because we were here for maybe like 27 seconds now and the uber's like turning around and i'm like kid young boy young blood that just drank a floco for the first time um, and then the uber's like daniela and i was like yeah i'm trying to tell him he's like no this this is your stop right i was like oh yes it is and I was like, the guy literally snapped out of drunkness he's like this is your literally your apartment your mom's waving in the window and i was like oh you're so right bye guys have a good day after i was about to literally body and mentally shame this man for being tipsy and i was like we're here stupido and they were like no boo that's literally your bunk bed Oh my god, that's so funny. I've never heard of Ubershare. I, I, we don't have that in the UK. I don't know how I feel like it though. I think I'd be a bit scared. But that is so funny. The fact that she's trying to wind him up and it was literally her stop. That's just classical. Genuinely just funny. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to think by it. That's just so funny. No, I was hoping like he's gonna be the same age as her and it was like turning into like a nice little romance story, but it wasn't. It was like her taking the nick. I like that. That was so funny to watch.